So capture cards have become quite ubiquitous in the world of streaming, however sometimes they just don't fit in your budget. So today we're going to talk about some capture card alternatives. So I think the most common use case for capture cards is you use it to capture a mirrorless camera. However, the thing is a lot of these mirrorless cameras, you can now hook them up via USB, download some software, and they can turn into a virtual webcam. Now, a lot of times you lose some resolution and some frame rate, but this can be offset by saving you a few hundred bucks. Or you can skip this altogether and actually just use your cell phone as a webcam. So if you download Expo VCam, Expo Connect webcam, connect them to the same Wi-Fi network on your PC, then you can add these as a camera source and even use it for your video chat software as well. And you get some stuff like removing your background or replacing it. Okay, if you have a dual PC streaming setup, you're probably doing okay money-wise, but if you blew too much cash on the GPU and you can't afford a capture card right now, you can actually use NDI. So on the gaming PC, install Expert Broadcaster, do your game source capture, set up your audio capture, and then set up an NDI output. And then as long as the streaming PC and the gaming PC are on the same network, on the streaming PC, then capture the NDI output from your gaming PC, and then you're good to go all without a capture card. All right, so sometimes it's just unavoidable and you need that capture card. So I think when it comes to this point, make sure you buy the right capture card for the job. Don't buy a capture card with a bunch of different features that's gonna jack up the price. Think about what you need. What kind of input do you need? Do you need HDMI, DVI, SDI? You know, what are you trying to capture if you're trying to do a high refresh rate streaming setup. So if you're gonna be, you know, capturing your 144 Hertz monitor at 1440p, you're probably gonna need a higher end 4K capture card. But also think about it and think about what your delivery is gonna be. Like a lot of streaming sites don't support 4K, they don't support high refresh rate. So you really don't need to capture at these super high qualities. You just need something that gets the job done now, unless you're investing for the future or you really wanna capture things at the highest quality you know, HDR, 10-bit, whatever you need. But if you have any questions about capture cards, let us know in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.